Boy, it is so Theo. Kala, why it is so B. Thank you, Jesus. Kind of so B. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Yo. Why it is so day. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. The I bind up the broken connection. I bind up Satan and his seemingless powerless. You have no power. Let this word go forth, Lord, whatever it is. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Wow. I hear you. Have your way, Lord. Rain down. Rain down. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, you're so good, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Kind of so the water so teo. Kalalai, it is so thee. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. You are worthy. You alone are worthy, Lord. You alone, Jesus. No man shall steal your glory. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Hanebi Lord so teo ave diso the law. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallowed is so teo. Hallowed is so teo. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, everyone. I hope that all is well. Um, but it just, I think that some of us are more sensitive to the spiritual atmosphere, right? And so um, I just have been in intercession, 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 intercession for Christ, for the 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 nenes in the water son tío for those who are deceived for the 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 children that are um coming home to the lord the children that may not see but they will you know i just been been praying and praying for so many things and um i just uh i pray that all is well that that the warfare um that you know that if you're going through it that there is a purpose and um yeah oh, Jesus the Lord has really been dealing with me right so um you know I don't do this because I I want to um I started making videos after many months of the Lord convicting my heart um <laughs> I didn't want to. Um, I am kind of like the shy person. I don't really want to be um, that person, right? Um, you know, like in high school, I didn't want to talk in front of the class. You know, that was never my thing. Um, and finally, one day, uh, I said, Lord, I said, okay. This is after months of him saying, I'm going to have you do videos. And I kind of would say, no, Lord, I don't, I don't want to. No, um, and I think at this time I had no idea what he was really doing. Mm. And that's, that's the thing. We really never, we never really know, you know, but, um, finally I said, okay, Lord, <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, you give me a Bible verse, you give me a scripture and I will give a word, whatever it is, you know, it's gotta be biblical, Jesus, whoa. Yeah, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Yeah. And it's all the water so deep. Oh my God. Wow. So he instantly gave me a scripture. Instantly, right then. <laughs> and it was um, it was Romans eight one nine. And uh, I gave the word, the year of revealing. And um, anyways, um, you know, so I don't do this for popularity. I don't do this because it's a comfortable thing. In the spirit, okay? And um, it is only because of the Lord Jesus that I am able to stand and I am able to continue and I am able to, to uh, see through the lies of this world. Um, my Lord, my Lord, thank you, Jesus. And so, um, oftentimes, you know, the things that the Lord will say are not popular, right? Um, in these past few days, I would say maybe three to five days, I have been in a place of, um, just saying, Lord, you know, um, am I not, you know, I've been just... Praying and, and interceding for hours upon hours upon hours every day, but also um, just wondering, did I did I miss? You know, did I not hear him correct? Not for the way I look. I'm a fool for Jesus, but for I do not want to mislead his sheep that he died for. This is not a joke. When you speak for the Lord. Kind of it is so the law. It's not a game. It's not something that you take lightly. Okay? It's not something that you just uh venomously just spew things out that you think. No, you wait on confirmation. You you assure yourself that this is his spirit, the spirit of God, that it is not error and and you you know that he's convicted you. And so I as I pray and I pray and I pray and you know, a sister in the Lord, Emily Rose Lewis, did a video last night. And one of the things she said that just struck me was, you know, if all the words that, that God has given her in the past year or so or whatever um, were, you know, amiss, you know, they were incorrect, then, okay, President Trump would not be the president. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't make a difference, um... It's not about worshiping a person, you know. It's about the agenda and the position that the world is in right now. See, some people would say, oh, we're not called to get into that. We're not called to speak into politics. We're not called to, to stand up against abortion. We're not called to, well, maybe you're not. You know what I mean? Maybe you're called to something else, okay? Because we're all different. But the thing of it is, it's not about him. It's not about Biden. It's not about a person. It's not about worshiping um, an individual. It's about an agenda. Okay? It's about a... a yeah. It's about the end of the world. It's about the apocalypse. It's about um, uh, revelations and the things that, you know, and here's the thing, you know... Um, We've been talking about separation. Boy, is it happening. And, uh, you know, um, but I just, I had to question, Lord, am I not hearing? Have I misled your people? And, um, you know, he's been reassuring me, you know, that we don't walk by sight. You know, we don't walk by sight. Okay. We walk by faith. And this is a time where... The foolish, hallelujah, the foolish things are confounding the wise. Wow. Wow, I want to read the scripture that he has given me. And I believe that, um, you know, I want to let his spirit flow. And I believe he's got some things that he wants to clear up and say. And, um, you know, I'm just a vessel. I am nobody. But, um, but I love Jesus. And I know that the body of Christ, we we need one another to, 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 yeah, I hear you, Lord. Step into position. Your position is not the same as mine. And um, we, we really need to come to 
um, yes, not a false unity, but we need to stand on one accord in the spirit. Yeah, so I am going to Malachi 3 and 15. Thank you, Jesus. So now we call the proud blessed. For those who do wickedness are raised up, that they even tempt God and go free. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another. And the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, on the day that I make them my jewels and I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. Yes, Lord. I'm 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 sin of Lord of Sotel, Jesus. Malachi four and five. Mm. Lord. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers lest I come and strike the earth with a curse Jesus Jesus, Jesus. Proverbs 21 and 30 there is no wisdom or understanding or counsel against the Lord. Amen. There isn't. And I want to I want to pray. Jesus, Lord Jesus. I thank you for standing in the gap for your children, Lord. I thank you that when we don't know how to pray, that, that not only are you in constant intercession for us, but you have given us your spirit, which, which utters things we do not know how to pray. And I just, I worship you, Lord. I adore you, Jesus. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done here in my heart as it is in heaven. Jesus, I thank you for strengthening your children. I thank you for encouraging your children. I thank you for giving knowledge and wisdom, Lord Jesus. I thank you for waking up the sleepers, Lord. For waking up those who are deceived those who just don't see those who have yet to find your discernment give them discernment lord show them show them show them the truth lord jesus i know you have something that you want to say lord and i i thank you lord that you that you speak to me that you speak to me that I can hear your voice in the midst of your presence that when I stand all alone I'm never alone Lord because you're right there I thank you Jesus for being my anchor my foundation my everything that allows me to love to give mercy, to give grace. It's only you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Here I am, Lord. Use me, but remove my wretched flesh and let it be your spirit and your spirit alone that says whatever you, Lord Jesus, whatever you want to say, here I am. 
Use me. Han is on the law. Han is on the oh Jesus. My Lord, my Lord, my God. Hare is so today. Thank you, Jesus. Hoy, it is on the law. How it is so Theo in your precious, holy, and mighty name. Amen. Hello, innocent Theo. Hi, the light is so day. Hello, what is so today? Hi, innocent Theo. My Lord, wow. Hi, the nest on the water so Theo. Yeah, there's a darkness. There's a darkness that is. That is said of a lot of so deal of it is of the law that has found its way to many of us and um to edify us to, to to ultimately build us up and I know it doesn't make sense right it makes no sense how things work because God's ways are beyond what we can understand but in this time he's he's sent a shaking to his remnant, Jesus. Hello, water so terio. Hi, whoa, whoa. He is sent a shaking. Now, <laughs> yes, Lord. If we're being shaken, you know, um, imagine what is going to happen to the world in the shaking. You see, because, you know, we do know that Jesus is soon to return. We know this. But there is, um, there's work to be done. My oh, Lord, there's work to be done. And um, there's a time of grace that, that God has given us. A time of grace that he has given us. And, and this in the Lord of Sonteo, it is because of exposure hmm, that we have this grace. It is because of exposure. It is because of exposure that we have this grace. You see, many have, have fallen victim to their own kingdom. My God. Wow. You see, because Jesus said his kingdom is not of this world, right? And many, many, many have fallen victim to their own kingdom, their own agenda. And him and this in the law of son Theo Alawai, do not think that the word of the Lord is is said of the law of son Theo and son Theo. Wow is going to be popular with the, the the majority do not think that the word of the lord is going to be something that everybody is going to agree with in fact jesus said himself he did not come to bring peace but a sword to divide to divide to divide yes in the lord of soteo jesus because it is really mysterious the way god works and it and it and it's on the Lord of San Theo as as a sister in Christ, as someone who has given their life, their very breath, their being. Um, and it's I could never give enough, you know. But he's worthy, and 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 it's in the Lord of San Theo. So, it, you know, I'm all his, and 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 it's heartbreaking to him. And and it's in the Lord of San Theo. I know it, um, because so many are deceived you know so many see a form of justice um and this in the law to create us they 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 see justice in in ways that are perverted my lord my lord create us the law wow they see justice in in ways that are not truly justice because they lack the discernment of evil and good Okay, this is why we see uh, uh, so many inside the body of Christ uh, 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 rejoicing over um, evil. Yes, Lord, I hear you, Jesus. And then in Haris of the law, hold on. I hear the Lord say, hold on. Hold on to those of you who are standing on faith. Hold on to those of you who are standing your ground on me hannes on the law of kairos of theo averis of the law you will not be ashamed you will see 
justice. Head is said the water so be, you know. Yes, Lord. It would be impossible for fraud to come upon an American election, okay, and then for God to somehow um, not expose it to bring justice. In other words, if 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 it had been a lot of soteo and a something, if if he were to just allow, you know, I wouldn't care, and I'm going to keep it real. I wouldn't care if somehow President Trump cheated. Okay, I want fraud exposed. So, so even if you know, um, um, it was him, you know, that is trying, you know, to to, and he fraudulently won the election, you know, and it was really Biden who the people voted for. Well, a government for the people, by the people, you know, and some would say, oh, this has nothing to do with God. I disagree. And I'll tell you why, because darkness is trying to overtake the world because the the father of this world has a, a select team who have a, 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 it is the law an endless amount of money. OK, but God cannot, cannot, cannot uh, expose injustice if he does not expose corruption in the election. I don't know how he'll do it. I'm not him. But I do trust that what he is saying is correct. And there are some who feel, who in this little soteo, Jesus, they felt like they missed it and they didn't. You know, there are some who are speaking out what God is saying right now and looking a fool for the sake of Christ. And, and the beautiful thing is they don't even care what people think you know because there's always that one that one that needs that encouragement you know so it's not the end okay now we know we're living in the last days I don't want to mislead you yes Lord it is not a time to play church anymore and what do I mean when I say to play church I mean, you've put your kingdom above his somehow. You have um, not been on your knees in repentance in the ugliness that's within you. You know, the Lord spoke to me today so many things, you know. He has a blueprint from the foundation of the earth. Okay, he has a blueprint. There is no one, nobody, no being, no principality, no power that can stand above God's blueprint, God's authority, God's power. Okay, his will shall be done. Okay, his will shall be done. It is truly a time, and he, and he spoke to me so, so much. And what, you know, just think about that. You know, what a, what an honor, what a privilege that, that God speaks to us, right? That, that you can go in prayer and that he will tell you something, anything. It could be, I love you, my child. You know what I mean? The world's aching for that. They just don't know it, okay? And what he's doing is giving us more time for a revival, for a great awakening before the evil does overtake. Because we know the Bible says it will for a moment, for a moment. And then Satan will be bound up in prison, cast into, you know, will reign with Christ and then and, and he'll be hit of a lot of so they yeah cast into the fire okay but it is it is not a time to be discouraged and don't feel bad if you have been it's okay every single um born again you know uh, faithful um praying christian has has been through the ringer you know lately especially 
Jaime, this so the Lord of Coyote so Deo. You know, God has the evidence. My God. Oh. God has the evidence. God has the evidence. He has the evidence. And um, it's not time for, you know, the, the one world government. It's not time, you know. Um, yes, I hear you, Lord. You know, Brother Marcus Rogers mentioned something about it would look like a movie. And I've heard that all day today. I keep hearing the Lord say, it's going to look like a movie, <laughs> you know, um, and it's already starting to look like a movie, you know, um, but stand fast because for every one of you who may see the truth, there's going to be five Christians, okay, that, that don't see, all right, and it's not a time, it's not a time to say, I told you so, you know, it's just not. It's a time to pray for the lost and to see. It's a time to weep. It's a time to, to do what God has called you to do. It's not a time to play around. You know, Jesus made it very clear that only those who do the will of God will enter into heaven. And he was talking about those inside of the church. Those who, you know, were following him. Okay? So, um, he said, oh no, away from me. I knew you not, you know, because we can't possibly have unforgiveness in our heart and know him. We can't possibly have resentment in our heart and know him. We can't possibly have anger and bitterness in our heart and truly know him. You know, and this is a time where, you know, wow. Many are going to have to make a decision. They're going to have to decide to hate, to, to, to not let go of their pride, or to, to give in to God. Okay. You know, as I pray um, in the beginning of this video, he literally shook. Uh, I, I just, I felt the shaking and I could see it. Um... And, uh, you know, the things that are going to be exposed, some people would say, well, what does that have to do, you know, with, with God's will? Or what does that have to do with, well, it has to do with God giving us more time. God giving us a grace period, okay? But it's not time to play anymore. It's not time to, you know, um, post on Facebook all about the Lord and then cuss somebody out. It's not time to think we know you know everything it's it's just not time to be a scoffer it's not time to be prideful it's not time to be selfish it's time to give it all to the lord and he was speaking to me about elijah okay jesus i don't want this to be super long um he was speaking to me about elijah and <sighs> You know, Elijah was the only one. You know, the prophets of Baal were many, right? And and we can we can um Yes, Lord, I hear you. Have your way. It's your time, Lord. Have your way. It's your time, Lord. Have your way. It's your time. Thank you, Jesus. Heaviness in the Lord of Sunday. Um you know, the prophets of Baal, we can, we can relate them to, um, the media, the, the false prophets of Baal. We can relate them to the media. Okay. Now, hey, hallelujah. Have it is so Dale. Yeah, there's a shift happening. Nobody can stop God. Um, and this and the Lord of San Theo, wow. <sighs> Jesus. Help me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, you know, the, the news, they get on there and they lie to us. You know, um, from the coronavirus, trying to put fear in the, in the children. And then the adults, I mean the children of God, you know, to, to just not telling 
the truth about what's really going on. I mean, you're talking about down to censorship, okay, of a current president, you know, completely twisting everything, you know, making bad look good, making good look bad, and woe to them, right? But we can we can relate that. And, and now the Lord was speaking to me. Now is the time to arise, Elijah. Now is the time. You know, and I speak to those who have a fire in their heart for the Lord. A fire that cannot be contained. Okay? A fire that will not be put out. No matter what, the gates of hell shall not prevail. And you just keep on going to the Lord. Going to the Lord. And and it's in the Lord of San Theo. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Because, you know, you remember... That Elijah was hiding. He was hiding in the cave. You know, and I believe that, you know, what the Lord has showed me, you know, he's given me, I mean, even matched up names. You know, it's literally 1 Kings 18 is playing out, you know. And, that, of course, many parts of the Bible are playing out right now, you know. Um, it is truly a time to state your case before God. But he's already heard. And he's already decided. But he is watching how we are responding, okay? He is watching where is our heart positioned. You know, and I had to check myself. You know, I started to get real down. And I started to just wonder, you know, number one, oh gosh, did I hear from you, Lord? Did, did, did I mis mislead someone? You know, but also, you know, oh well, Lord, you'll do it how you do it. You know, I started to... No, it's not a time for fear and it's not a time for doubt. In fact, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind up the spirit of fear. And I loose the power of God over you in your life, in your mind, in your thoughts right now. Yes. So that your actions will line up with the kingdom, with the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of darkness. But you see, God allows these dark moments to wake us up, to, to, to awaken what is uh, asleep inside of us, you know. Um, it is a time, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, yes. It is a time where the Elijahs are coming out of the caves. It is a time where the Elijahs are not going back in it is a time where the mantle of elijah is being released like never before to the prophets of of the earth for for god's glory to those who speak on his behalf to draw the sons and the daughters to god to to realign the family unit hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus and to tell the truth. To be the news. Mm. To be the news. You know. To those of you who are standing firm on the things that God has been telling you. Good job. You know. If you've had doubt, it's okay. You know, I had to repent. Because I wasn't walking by faith. You know. And thank God we can repent. Thank God we can go to him and we can say, you know, I'm sorry, Lord, I, I, I should have known, you know. But see, through it all, he's teaching us to stand firm on him, you know, because truth is he can do it however he wants, right? Truth is he doesn't need a certain person, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's got the blueprint, right? And I believe that what he's allowed you know, to come out to what he's allowed that looks one way, but it is another, is, is to humble, you know, certain people and maybe all of us, you know, maybe all of us in some way needed to be humbled or drawn in closer to him. Yes, we all needed something out of this, you know, and I believe it's a great moment of faith where we're just going to see the plot twist hallelujah and it's just gonna come out you know and I'm a fool 
to believe what God says to me. I'm a fool. I will believe every word God confirms to me. You know, and if I look like a fool, so be it. I'm a fool for Jesus. But I want to encourage you, it's not time to give up. It is not time to give up. That darkness does not prevail. Okay, that God is on the throne. And that he knows what we don't. You know, there's so many sickening things that happen. And and then in there, Jesus said it a lot of so they oh wow. He says, and part of it is because my church isn't in position. My Lord. Wow. You know, there's even people inside the church leadership that, that are gonna be exposed in this. Wow. Whew. Jesus. I have a lie, why? For the love of money. For the love of money is the root of all evil. But God knew this moment and time would come. And you see what he's doing? Is he's weeding out. He's weeding out. You know, just like um Yes, Lord. Judges 7, where, where Gideon, you know, he started off with thousands and thousands. And God said, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I won't get the glory. <laughs> That's what God said. I won't get the glory. Remove them. Oh, okay. Keep on removing them. Oh, okay. You're down to 300. Okay, now. Now I'm going to move. And I'm going to show out. And there's going to be no doubt and no way around it. It was me. It was me all along. Why? Because he loves us. Why? Because the prayers that we've prayed. Because we have, hallelujah. Because we have been awakened. Because people are really starting to get it. Because so many are in that valley of decision. Wow. Yeah, the army is rising. The army is rising. The dry bones are coming to life. Hallelujah. Who can stop the Lord our God? Nobody. 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 I don't claim to know exactly how he's going to do it. But I'll tell you this. It is written. And I will say it's going to come out. Oh, Jesus. Very soon. Very soon. Things are already coming out right now. You watch in these next 10 days. You watch in these next 10 days. Just watch. But havoc will come. Havoc will come. Havoc will come because people are prideful. They're unforgiving. They're resentful. They're bitter. They don't know me. And they say they know me. Hennessy, water so tail. You know, it's truly a time where God is telling us, you know, pushing us, you know, um, touching on us, you know, uh, 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 you know, an unction in our spirit to give more, to, to go deeper into obedience somehow. I believe right now we're in a place in time where every single one of us that's sold out for Christ is in a place where um, something is being removed as something is being given. And, and it is in the Lord of San Tio because of obedience. Okay? He, he's calling us deeper in that war place. You know? Um, <laughs> I hear you, Lord. Hallelujah. Some of the most powerful people in the kingdom of heaven don't get seen every day but heaven knows their name some of the most powerful people are praying mothers and praying grandmas and praying fathers and praying grandpas and the prayer warriors causing havoc to the kingdom of darkness by decreeing by believing by speaking it into existence we are called to speak as though it were the things that are not. And believe it, not just say it. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. And I'll tell you, you know, the enemy will come at you with every possible thing he can to get you to give up in praying. He's been coming at me with, you know, this, this ear, nose, and throat things because I've been praying so many hours every day in the spirit because I don't know what to pray. I would be a fool if I lied and said that, oh, I know exact. I don't know what to pray. You know, some some things, yes, but I, I would rather have the perfect wishes to God, whatever He would want. And the Spirit intercedes according to the will. Hmm, thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Why, it is so the law, wow. Yes, it's time to pray in the Spirit. Those of you who know how to pray in the Spirit, just pray. Those of you who don't know, just just start worshiping the Lord. You know, lift your hands up high and just start praising Him. You know, even it's in the law, how it is so feel, how it is so how it is so Maybe He'll baptize somebody in the gifts of speaking in tongues right now. Yes, Lord, drop your fire down on their tongues, Lord. Give them the gifts they so desire to do your will on this earth, Lord Jesus. Yeah, division is coming. Whew. Division is coming. But we still have a body that stands on one accord. Not in some false unity, but in a true obedience to the Spirit of God and the convictions of one's heart. When you walk with God, you're going to be regularly convicted to give and give and give. And I don't mean financial. I mean give to Him. You know, financial, yes. That is a part of it. But you're going to be convicted on a continual basis of the way you carry yourself and who you represent our Lord Jesus to be. Yeah. Because I don't know about you, but I know. I don't want to mislead anybody on who Jesus is. I don't want to say that he's saying this. I don't want to speak for him if it isn't him. And he knows it. You know, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it's a time for the fivefold to arise. You know, don't, don't timidness in the law to some feel. One person can't do it all. You know, one person may be multiply gifted, you know. I believe we have an apostolic prophetic movement that, that's just like bubbling on the earth. Um, but not every, you know, you can't do all five, you know. And I think God is kind of really showing people what they're supposed to be doing, okay. And um, he's getting ready to show up and show out. And if we would have eyes to see... Um, with faith then we would already see the beginning of you know it just has not sat right with me i have never been able to i couldn't get on here and apologize because it wasn't supposed to happen you know just yeah i mean there's just things that when he said it i believe it and i still do you know and i'm humble enough to say it's not my words i'm, I'm not that smart i don't have all that it's him you know but be encouraged darkness is not taking over right now the evil um that some would call good is not gonna win and um it is gonna upset uh, uh uh groups of individuals you know certain agendas are gonna not you know accept the movie that's gonna be played in front of their eyes because of pride because of um you know uh, yeah because of pride because God resists the proud and he cannot possibly download messages to you when you're prideful. And um, it's truly a time to put your own agenda to the side, you know. And if this touches one person that, that, that maybe hasn't agreed with, with um, you know, some of the things that I've said previously or that the Lord has spoke through me, you know, ask God what he wants. You know, truly Get in that place in your prayer closet on your knees and say, God, did I get it wrong? You know, what do you want? You know, don't serve Satan and think you're serving heaven. You know, what a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And we thought last year was a shaking. 
you know, yeah, he shook, he shook everything, you know, and he still is, but it's a time to stand. And if you're not in a position right now to stand, it's because he's showing you the things you may not want to see. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I love you all so much. I mean, I don't care, you know, if you agree or if you disagree, you know, I love everybody. I mean, there's people who probably despise me and I love them, you know, um, because God loves them and because, you know, I was once so deceived. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He is faithful. He is faithful. We are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. We stand on the foundation, the solid rock. Don't turn left. Don't turn right. Set your face to flint. Receive what it is that he's trying to release to you in this hour. And for those of you who just can't contain the fire, there's a new mantle to turn the hearts of the children to their fathers and the hearts of the fathers to the children. And it's burning. It's just burning. Yeah. Yeah, be blessed. Be encouraged. Um, don't go by what you see. Walk by faith. You know, yes, men can get it wrong. You can get it wrong. I can get it wrong. But go to God. You know, um, oh, Lord forbid you watch TV. Just don't. Zero time in that news station and that in that you know multi the 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 mass media and the oh it's just pointless it's just feeding you venom 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 poison you know um go to your bible boy that's real news i'll tell you it's kind of exciting i mean it is it's just amazing but that's a whole other thing i kind of love the bible um but yes, be encouraged. Be encouraged. And if you have no one else praying for you, Jesus is. And I am too. Till the next time. I love you all. Be blessed. Quienes son dolores son tío.